got a place to where you want it, man. Fairfield Ward High School, home of the Mustangs, is known for many things. Their Ward TV studio, their subpar senior lounge, and Mr. Pride. But what Ward is also known for is a gang known as the Mustangs of Mayhem, also referred as the Mob. I've pantsed people. Don't move. I've cut class, haven't washed my hands in the bathroom. The bomb is dangerous. You never know when they'll strike. They could strike at any time, and you never know what they do. They don't care what the consequences are. They are the most dangerous group at war. You either join them or get frank. Fairfield, Connecticut, home of the Country Cow Deli, Garden Catering, and approximately 13 banks on Black Rock Turnpike. Just past Melville Ave, you will find Fairfield Ward High School, where the mom will be six and a half hours of the day. Ward's a pretty diverse place. We've got blacks, Hispanics, Asians, Pacific Islanders. I don't think we have any Lithuanians. The mom runs five strong, the school's largest Caucasian gang. The gang's turf spreads from the far Pequot hallway to upper and lower fits. I see them in the hallways a lot. They always tabletop freshmen. The mom has no friends outside the group. Once the word got around about what these guys would do, there became a hatred for them. So nobody would stand up to them because they were too scared to. Greg Hyman, a.k.a. The Savage, joined the mom during his sophomore year. All five of us, we would go into people's neighborhoods and we would ding-dong dish people's houses. I carry silly string on me all the time. You never know when a freshman is going to walk by. I never miss out on an opportunity to harass a freshman who isn't in the mom. Greg always puts the mom first. The gang is my family, besides when I go home. I got parents and a little sister Nicole who's 12, but she gotta put the gang first. Except maybe for Chris who acts like a little <laughs> Sometimes I think my sister is tougher than him. When Greg joined the mom, he was willing to prank right away. I wrote Greg was here on a desk, and then the next day I realized my name had been crossed off so it like Miss Rahi was on it. When Greg found Miss Rahi, it was on. When I saw that scrub, I knew exactly what to do. I walked right over to him while he was with his lover, stuck my finger in my mouth and stuck it in his ear. That's what the mom likes to call a wet willy. The Mustangs of Mayhem are known for attacking everyone on the ward campus, but their main rivals are the teachers, also known as the teachers. Who are these Mustangs of Mayhem? The gang led by uh, Greg Hyman. Oh, those are the punks who tried to egg my car, but they missed by a mile. Standing at five feet, two inches is the newest member of the mob. Chris Jones, also known as That Ginger Kid. We asked Chris to join the mob because we needed a fierce freshman. Besides, he's on my bus and he always gives me a Pop-Tart. That shows you he's the tits. Chris asked us to keep his identity a secret, but since he is a freshman, he doesn't have any rights. Greg told you the Pop-Tart story? Yeah, good times. I saw him on the bus one day and he looked pretty hungry. I mean, I hadn't eaten breakfast, but I could tell he wanted the Pop-Tart more. It was s'mores flavored, so I could tell Chris was the man. Only tanks eat s'mores Pop-Tarts. Once he asked me to join, there was really no choice but to say yes. I couldn't turn down that opportunity. If I didn't join, it'd be like if Ricky Rubio decided not to go to the Timberwolves after he got drafted. The mom was going great, but then it happened. January 23rd, 2012, Greg had ordered Chris to spit spitballs at arch rival Miss Gartsu. There was a lot of talk that the mom was going after Miss Gartsu. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Today we are learning about video production. And this is what you'll be doing every day. Greg had ordered the hit on Miss Gartsu. I remember that day like it was yesterday. I had lined up the shot. It had the perfect amount of spit and the perfect amount of ball. When Chris shot spitballs at Miss Gartsu, Rachel Brisbane walked in the way.
Normally it would be no big deal that it hit Rachel Brisbane, but she was pretty hot. The mom always gets girls. Rachel was pretty pissed about it and told the dean, not a good day. Chris got an ISS for two days. I tried escaping. I wouldn't have got it if the f door wasn't closed. When Chris went down, there was a new member that stepped up. Danny Alvarado, or as he's known on the streets as the Pest. <laughs> Why do they call me the pest? Just look at me. I'm the pest gets kid in the FCAC. I do all the little things for the mom. I'm not a scorer, I'm a facilitator. I'm a role player. You can compare me to Shane Battier. Danny lays low when the mom strikes. He almost never gets caught. You know, I'll be the one who will go on their knees for the tabletop, or I'll just find out where other people are and I'll let other members of the mom know where they are. I would call myself the main member of mom, but without Danny, we wouldn't be as successful as we are. Yeah, I offer to be in the position that I'm in because I'm still a badass and I'm still my mom and I don't get to face all the consequences. Plus, I'm pretty scared of Mr. Blumenthal. The last two members of the group represent the sophomore class, Stephen Bartlett and Matt Fatsy, also known as Halloween Tool and Fat Ass. Well, I joined the mom because I want to promote Prop Shop Productions. Like us on Facebook. Steven wanted us to wear Shop Prop Production shirts. What? Prop shop. Oh, Prop Shop Production shirts. Either way, we weren't doing that. Yeah, I don't even consider Steven to be a member of the mom. He's a f What are my contributions to the mom? The kid hasn't done anything besides talk about Halloween. I can't name one thing he has done. I'll just blame myself for adding him on the mom. Bad move by Greg. Yeah, he's really not known for having the best common sense. Well, I haven't really done anything yet, but I think they let me stay because they feel bad for me. Fat ass, on the other hand, contributes a lot. Every time we go out to get food, he pays for it all. Yeah, I never really even carry a wall anymore. I just have fat ass pay for me all the time. All right, we got A&S, we got McDonald's, and we got Chili Bomb. Anything, I'll buy. I feel like Fatsy doesn't do anything either, but he pays for us, so we like him. They never tell me to pull pranks or anything. Basically, it's just me, Danny, and Chris that do all the pranks. Steven and Fatass are useless when it comes to gang activities. I didn't know they were in the mob. I always thought they just followed us around. It's pretty good to have fans. With three days left of school, Greg ordered the mob to go on their biggest job yet. Oh, listen, guys, listen. This is going to be our biggest mission yet. Should we wait for Fatass? No, I made that scrub pick us up some garden catering. Wait, so what's the plan? Steal some bucks. Danny, you're gonna go over there and you're gonna distract Mr. Truya. That's it? That's baby food. Chris, you're gonna go over there, you're gonna take the book, and you're gonna put it down your shirt. Sounds good. What about me? You just stay here and do nothing. Wait, so Greg, what are you gonna do? Hey, I came up with a plan. Hi right, guys, hands in. Mom on three. One, two, three. Mom. mom! After the mom ate garden catering, they proceeded on with the mission. Hey, Miss Achuria, how was your weekend? It was really good. It was so nice out. I did a lot of gardening. What did you do? Um, I just played basketball with my friends, you know, hung out, went to get something to eat, you know. Didn't be bad. Watch a lot of TV. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I went to a concert. <clears throat> yeah? Yeah, all my friends were going to the concert, and all their uh, friends let them go. So you were the only one? I was the only one. So I felt left out and excluded, and I went crazy. What? What are you doing? Come back here with that. You don't know what you have to find out with that. Place where you want it, man. No means bad enough to have the blue eyes, man. Oh, you gotta stick it down. Look, huh. me and my crew stick together like glue. If you really wanna see how we do, come through. Day and night, night and day. If you out of bounds, man down right away. Don't move. Red, blue, yellow, and black. It's bad enough I got them blue and white all on my back. Oh. They wanna see me chain the shack, but I ain't going out like that. Fall back. Me and my crew stick together.
together like two. If you really want to see how we do, come through. Day and night, night and day. If you want to bounce, man down right away. Don't 